Now, the biggest trick is how to hide the belly. If you are a single male and you love sending banana pics, you need to buy it. In this episode, I'll show you how to do killing photos of your girlfriend, maybe wife, who knows, maybe even the lover. <laughs> Let's just say of the loved ones only with your iPhone. Hey there, my name is Gabriel. And I'm Mary. And we came to Bali in the best time ever, in the quarantine time. But we still have to continue posting our Instagram content. We have to shoot even though we cannot visit anything here in Bali. But we will teach you now and we will show you how we do a nice, cool, killing Instagram shots just with the iPhone, just on quarantine. Before we dive into other examples, let's check the technical part. The first one. There is one really huge no-no when you're shooting with... Huge no-no. You scared me. <laughs> Huge no-no when you're shooting with mobile phone. Don't come close to the nose. It will look horrible. The iPhone lenses are very wide and they're distorting the face. Just don't do it. has exceptions. The wide angle lens can emphasize something. I have two examples for you. If you hold something in your hand and place it very close to the lens, the wide angle lens will make it really huge. It is perfect for product shots. The second way how to use the effect is to shoot the legs. The wide angle lens will make the legs look extremely long. Looks very sexy on the photos. Okay, let me turn the wide angle. Here we go with the wide angle lens. And one bonus tip. If you are a single male and you love sending banana pics, you need to buy the new iPhone 11. The wide angle lens will make your small banana look really huge. Now you can send your banana, not the one you stole from the internet. If you didn't do it yet, go to your camera settings and activate the camera grid. That will help you compose the image better. Here are some practical examples. Most of the time I do central composition. I place my subject in the center. The other time I place the subject on one of the lines of the grid. Now when you place the model on one of the lines, pay attention to leave more space in the direction where the person is watching. The viewer is subconsciously dragged to check what the person is looking at. If there is not enough space, the picture will look off. Next one is the perfect landscape photo. When you're doing landscape photos, most people will place the horizon line in the middle. That creates boring images. Instead, position the horizon line on one of the grids. Like that, the image will look better. Just decide what do you want to see more, the sky or the land. Now, something which is also part of the composition is the contrast. If you go in the woods and you wear green, most definitely you blend with the forest and the image wouldn't turn great. If you want dramatically to improve your images, you have to start thinking about the cover contrast. Here is the cover wheel where you can see the relationship between the covers. The most contrasty couples are yellow, purple, orange, teal, red, green. Now that is the theory, I don't think very much about it. What is in my head is how to make the subject pop out. When I'm on the beach, I like to shoot with very bright swimming suits, like yellow and red. The yellow color has very nice contrast with the blue sky. Yellow and blue is very good option. Here is one more example. We went to the rice fields and I told my girlfriend to wear her orange dress. There are three reasons for that. First, the dress fits the environment. Second, it pops out and third, on post, I can push the greens more towards the teal color and I can create bigger contrast. The second one is posing and shooting. Most people take three to five photos on a vocation, not us. We take as much as you can. More or less, we take from 50 to 100 photos on a vocation and from all of them, we choose the best of the best. That's usually around three to five photos. Yes. So yes, you take 100 photos and only one or two are ending up to be good ones. Yeah, that's one of the biggest secrets of the Instagram stars. They take a lot of photos and they just choose one to three best but of the best. Now, taking a lot of photos is not enough to create a good image. There are two additional things you have to consider. Camera angles, the distance and the model posing. Like that you create variations. 
For the camera angles I will start from the chest level and slowly go down to the ground. Depending on the situation I can even go high. Really depends do I want to show more of the sky or more of the landscape. Most of the time the epic photos are taken close to the ground level. Like that you do two things. You introduce more foreground to the shot and it looks more interesting and you make your subject look like a hero. Most people don't know how to pose and here I have three tricks for you. The first one is don't be static. Don't stay on one place without any movement. Your photos will not improve if you're just sitting on one place and just smiling. Now here are my instructions 101 when I'm shooting with somebody who don't know how to pose. The first thing, angle yourself a little bit from the camera. So one leg in front. Now to create the variation just start rotating your ass. So from here start rotating pop it, rotate and meanwhile you just strike the photos. What to do with the hands? That's the really tricky part. With one hand you can play with the hair and the other one you place somewhere on the body and the point is to create motion. Now the biggest trick is how to hide the belly. That works for boys and for girls. You have to learn to do vacuum. A lot of professional models are using that trick uh, to look slimmer on the camera. So first angle yourself from the camera and now vacuum your belly. The hardest part when you're vacuuming your, is your face to look natural, not like mine. If posing for you is hard, don't worry, here is coming the third tip and that's walking. So move 10 steps away from the camera. and slowly start walking to the camera while somebody is taking the photo. So it should be like snap, 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 snap. That will create motion and your photos will look 10 times more interesting than if you're staying on place. These were my fast posing tips, now let's go and show you how we do it in action action. Give me variations of the position. Just turn to me. If the props are on the way, clean them. Let's try exactly the same how we were posing. We'll try to play with the straps of the dress. That should look really cool with the background. Like that, perfect. Position yourself here with the hands like that and you watch straight. The next photos we're gonna do is to shoot through the window. It catches a really nice reflection and it looks cool. Let me show it to you. So when you play with the angle, you can see how the reflection is changing through the window. The most tricky part is not to catch your self-reflection in the window. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. When we go to Epic Location, we do the same drill. Play with the poses, play with the angles.
There are a few more tricks which you can do when you do photos with your phone. I also have to start doing it because I don't have such type of images in my portfolio. If you have second phone, you can place it on the bottom of the lens and it will create a mirror. If you are on the right location, it can look really cool. You can achieve similar effect if you place a knife. Second, play with the shadows. When you shoot midday and the sun is very bright, you can find some plant or some prop to cast shadows on the face. The images look really, really cool. Unfortunately, I don't have such type of images in my portfolio. My third trick, which I use a lot, is the night photos. The new iPhone has amazing night mode for photos. It takes three seconds to take the photo and you shouldn't move, but the results are amazing. You can even do photos of the stars. Now, the question is how to take stunning portraits at night. There are two things. First, the model shouldn't move while you take the photos, otherwise it will be blurry. And the second, you have to light the subject. I always travel with my small video light, it is very handy in those situations, unfortunately now is on the camera. But if you don't want to spend money for that, just use the flash from your second phone. I've used the phone flash for many photos, just it's not so strong as my video light. On the phone our post-production is very simple. After we select the best photos, we delete the rest like that we don't clutter the phone memory. After that we import the selected ones in Lightroom. In Lightroom we add a preset, we use the presets because they save us a lot of time. All the photos you saw in the video were edited with our presets pack. If you like it, check the link in the description. After you apply the preset, sometimes you have to push the sliders a bit to make it perfect. There is no preset on earth which will make every photo amazing, it requires a bit of work from your site as well. When we finish with Lightroom, we save the photos and open them in airbrush to remove the pimples and smooth the skin. If you want to add some scratches to the photo and make it more vintage, we use, I forgot the name of the application, I will just write it here. But most of the time we stick to Lightroom and Airbrush. To be able to check how the photos will look before we post them on Instagram, we use Umami. It is a free application. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell and see you in the next episode.